One of the things I love about this shop, as soon as you walk in, uh, there's a culture to it, you know, and you got some words that greet you right away when you come in, courteous, mannerly, cultured, and those have a lot to do, of course, with, you know, like our interactions uh, with people in general, mm -hmm. but also our interactions with women. Having an 11-year-old daughter, mm -hmm. uh, I mean, you see the stories in the headlines, and, you know, you want to protect your own, but you also have to start to reflect and see what part you're playing yeah. mm -hmm. uh, in the issues. It can be the simple things like, you know, just being compassionate or like maybe not showing as much attention to uh, a lady in your life. What's been going through your guys' heads when you're reading these stories and you're seeing stuff like this? Everyone cons is concerned, as they should be, about the physical protection of women. Uh, they're being assaulted, they're being uh, uh, verbally and physically. But at the same time, in our society, uh, has been objectifying women for a very long time. Yeah, it's in the culture. If we're going to protect them physically and, and uh, from physical and verbal assault, then we've also got to protect them in the media, in the music videos, and the things that we listen to. Sex is just constantly in our faces, you know, to objectifying a woman and, you know, it's just mainstream. Personally, it was overwhelming, and I did have to take a step back, uh, mainly in the effort to not get lost in the allegations. You know, you see the, the stories on the TV, and those aren't really tangible to you, but, you know, you have so many people that you are attached to, men and women, because, I mean, you could maybe have a positive effect on a, on a woman that's trying to find her voice, trying to speak up about something that may have happened to her. It's what do we tell our, our sons, our brothers, our cousins, our nephews, mm -hmm. especially in these, in these times, and, and we're seeing the hurt from our sisters and, and our women. Yeah. But what, what, what do we communicate to them? I think, Warren, we've got to be the support system. Mm -hmm. uh, I listened to a very compelling presentation by a PhD from, I believe, UC UCLA. Mm -hmm. And he shared uh, what the victim goes through yeah. when they have the courage to tell somebody. The statistics are overwhelming at how often that they are villainized mm -hmm. right. or not believed. That's inexcusable. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I think for one, believe them and protect them. It's just conversations that need to be had, you know. I struggle with it, you yeah. know. I got, you know, we th three boys, so I, I mean, yeah. It's, it's just about balance and it's about, you know, respect. My mentee says some wild stuff. I give him a little, you know, yeah, hit on right. the head. Yeah. But am I really enforcing home to him that this is yeah. a problem? What, what exactly. you know, he's already been programmed. Yeah, I mean, before we can do that, it's about uh, integrity for us. Mm -hmm. You know, what do we do when they're not around? Well, gentlemen, I think we're taking the first step, mm -hmm. a necessary step, yeah. and being able to sit down together, uh, talk about these issues, listening to women willing to be wrong, mm -hmm. um, but also willing to accept that and learn from it. Yeah. Thanks a lot, guys. All right, that was Brendan Pope holding that important conversation, and we want to give a special shout out to Urban Blades for hosting the chat as well. The barbershop is holding a community event all day Sunday with proceeds going to My Block, My Hood, My City, and many other Chicago charities. Bring the family out to the location on North Orleans Street for a good time.